During WWDC, Apple launched the iOS 15 beta and they announced iCloud Plus for paid iCloud subscribers. iCloud Plus brings several new features to the table, including custom domains for iCloud Mail. Now, although it's still in beta, I'll show you how to set it up and use it right now. Thanks for watching 9to5Mac. Be sure to thumbs up, click the subscribe button, and then enable notifications with the bell icon so you won't miss any upcoming videos. Okay, so say you have a Gmail address. Here's a question. What happens if Gmail shuts down? Now, admittedly, that is highly unlikely, but if it happened, your email address would go along with it because your email address is a Gmail address. Now, this doesn't just apply to Gmail. It applies to iCloud as well. If I had a Jeff at iCloud email address and iCloud shut down, yeah, I'd lose access to my email address. And that's why I think it just makes more sense to own the domain for your email address. So instead of jeff at gmail.com, how about jeff at 9to5mac.com or jeff at duckybenjamin.com? I don't know. But the point is by owning the actual domain, your email address is portable. So if Gmail shuts down, I can move that email address over to iCloud. Or if iCloud shuts down, I can move my email address over to Fastmail and still keep my custom Jeff at Ducky Benjamin or Jeff at 9to5Mac.com email address. But maybe I shouldn't say shut down uh, because that's a little extreme. Maybe you just no longer agree with the practice of a certain business and you want to take your email address elsewhere. Or maybe the quality of the service has degraded and you want to move your email address to a better provider. Well, owning your own custom domain makes it possible to make that move. And the reason I mention this is because with Apple's new iCloud Plus service, Apple finally is allowing iCloud mail users to use their own custom domains with iCloud email. Now, just keep in mind that this feature is currently still in beta. So with that in mind, you probably don't wanna use this yet with any email addresses that are extremely important to you. But if you're an iCloud Plus subscriber who's interested, you can test it out using this guy. So the very first thing you're gonna to need to set up a custom domain for iCloud Mail is a custom domain. Now, Hover has long been my registrar of choice, so that's what I'm gonna use, hover.com. They're not sponsored or anything, but I just searched for a domain, duckybenjamin.com, and what do you know, it is available. So I'm gonna to add to cart and go ahead and purchase this domain from Hover. Okay, so my purchase is complete, so now it's time to manage my domain and get this whole thing set up with my iCloud mail. So just gonna click DNS. Obviously, if you're using a different registrar, it's gonna be a little different as far as the interface, but the principle of what we're doing here applies to all registrars. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna delete the two email records, the MX record and the CNAME record for mail, just like that, delete. All right, so now I'll leave the other two. Those are just the A records for the web, but we don't need to touch those right now. What we're gonna do is we're gonna open up another browser window. We're gonna to go to beta.icloud.com. Remember, this is in beta, the ability to add custom domains for iCloud email. So you need to make sure you go to beta.icloud.com, not just regular iCloud.com. All right, so once you're there and logged in, click account settings, scroll down until you see custom email domain. Again, if you're not on the beta iCloud website, you probably won't see custom email domain until Apple launches this feature publicly. Okay, so as you can see, you can send and receive email with up to five custom domains and three email addresses per domain. Now, if you're just setting this domain up for you and only you, not your family members, select only you. Uh, that will not allow your family members to add email addresses to that domain. Now, if you want your family to be able to add associated email addresses, select you and your family. In this example, I'm gonna choose only you because I'm the only one that's gonna be using duckybenjamin.com. So you wanna insert your domain that we just set up there, duckybenjamin.com, click continue. And Apple's nice, they go ahead and send you instructions for setting up your domain with iCloud Mail. But I'm gonna walk you through it, so you don't need those instructions right now. Now in this example, I just established my domain, so I don't have any associated email addresses right now. So I can go ahead and click skip because I can add those email addresses later. Now, the next thing you need to do is to go ahead and update your domain registrar settings. And to do that, you wanna click view, and that's gonna give you all the domain records you need to enter on the domain registrar side. And the nice thing is not only does Apple give you these records here, but they also have more detailed instructions. If you click open instructions, you'll find 
More in-depth instructions on how to set up and establish your custom domain for iCloud Mail. And there are some things you definitely want to keep in mind when entering the records. And I'm going to show you that and talk about that in this walkthrough. So let's go back to our settings here and let's head back over to the DNS records for duckybenjamin.com on our domain registrar. So first thing you want to do is click add record, and then we're going to select MX to enter the first of our two MX records or mail exchange records. So for the host name, you're going to notice on almost every single record entry, the host name is actually just going to be your domain. So in this case, duckybenjamin.com, there's only one instance where the host name is different. So duckybenjamin.com for the host name, and then we enter priority. So in every instance that you enter priority, that priority number is going to be 10. So you just want to go ahead and enter 10 in the priority field, just like this. Next, we need to copy over the first of our two mail servers. So you can see a little discrepancy between the more detailed settings here. You see the period at the end on this right here, no period. You want to make sure you include the period. All right. So copy that, insert the first of our two mail servers, and there we go. So make sure that period's there. And then next up time to live defaults to 15 minutes, but you can hear, you can see here 3,600 seconds or AKA one hour. So you just want to select one hour there. Okay. So now click the new record button to save this DNS record. Just like that. All right. So let's add another record. Click add a record. I'm going to add the second MX record. Again, host name is your domain. In this case, duckybenjamin.com priority is 10 and then copy and paste the second mail server, include that period time to live is one hour. Click new record. So we have both of our MX records. Now we're going to add our text record. So for this one, you just want to simply copy this value here, just like this. And this is a custom value. So it's going to be different every time you set this up, click add a record and then select text for host name. Again, duckybenjamin.com. In my instance, it'll be different for your domain, of course. And then for content, paste what we copied just like that Apple domain, and then set up 60 minutes for your time to live or one hour rather, and then click add record. And then we're going to add our second text record. So click add a record type text host name, duckybenjamin.com. All right. Now let's go ahead and copy the text record. and then paste it in. All right, one hour, add a record. And now finally we have our C name record. So add a record, select C name for type. Now the host name in this instance is not going to be your domain. You actually need to copy the host name right here where Apple gives you this sig one dot underscore domain key. It's going to be the same thing over here. It's just copy and paste that over into the host name. And then for the target name, it's going to be a custom value with your domain in there. So we're just going to hop back over to the settings. It includes your domain. As you can see with that, make sure you grab the period as well. Paste that over into the target name, set your time to live for one hour, add a record and folks, that was it. That's it. Now we have all of our records there. We have, as you can see, the two MX records, the two text records, the C name record. So MX one, MX two text, text or SPF record, C name. We're good to go. So that's all we need to do on our domain registrar. Let's hop back over to our iCloud settings, click done. And now you want to click finish setup, but you want to wait because it takes a while for these records to propagate on the domain registrar. As you can see there, check your SPF record hasn't updated yet. So you may want to give it five, 10, 20, 30, sometimes maybe even a little bit longer, but eventually if you entered everything correctly, your records will be confirmed. Your custom domain will be set up and ready to use with iCloud mail. So I'm going to click finish setup again. I think I've given it enough time, click confirm 
And yeah, there we go. So your domain is ready to use with iCloud Mail. You get an email as well. Click continue and then we can proceed. Now we need to actually set up an email address. It may say something about setting up a default or choose a default email address. Just click continue there. And then I'll show you where you can go. Click done in this section here as well. And now you wanna go up to where it says add an email address, the part we skipped over earlier. Click the plus sign there and then type in your custom email address. You can choose any uh, prefix. In my case, I'm just gonna use Jeff, Jeff at duckybenjamin.com, add email address. There we go, simple, easy, right? And the neat thing is that this custom email address will work with services like FaceTime and iMessage. So you can use this as an iMessage address as well. Now, if you ever wanna stop using your domain, you'll see where it has the stop using this domain button. But again, having your own custom domain for email means your email address is always portable. So you can always move it over to a different service like Google or Fastmail or whatever the case may be. That's the beauty of having a custom email address with your own domain. So if you ever need to change up anything in the future, just click the manage button, click on the name of your domain, and there you can go in and change up anything, add an email address, stop using this domain, and so on. So click the X button. We're done with iCloud settings. We can close out of here if we want to. All right, so notice what I have here. <laughs> it's already prompting me. It says, do you want to add Jeff at duckybenjamin.com to FaceTime and iMessage? Well, of course we do. I want people to be able to text me at Ducky Benjamin or at Jeff at DuckyBenjamin.com. So I have iCloud enabled on my mail app and watch what happens when I select the from field. Now I can select Jeff at DuckyBenjamin.com in addition to my pre-existing iCloud email addresses. Now I have that custom domain and I can actually send and receive mail using Apple's iCloud servers just like that. Super nice, right? So here on my phone, I get the same message because this phone is connected to the same iCloud account. So I can add Ducky Benjamin or Jeff at Ducky Benjamin to my iMessage and FaceTime as well here on my iPhone. Now I don't have iCloud mail enabled just yet on this phone. So that's what we need to do next. So go to settings, iCloud and flip the switch for iCloud mail. And that should allow me to select my new custom domain. You see all the spam there. And you'll also see the emails that Apple has sent to me throughout this process, prompting me to finish setting up my custom domain. And then once I actually set it up, they sent another email telling me to create my email address. And of course we did all those things, but it's nice just to have those for reference in the future. So here is our new message. So now all we do tap the from field and there we go. I get the option to select my custom Jeff at duckybenjamin.com email address. Just like that. What do you guys think about that? Now I've long used my own custom domain for my email because it gives you more power because you're not locked into a particular system. Like if you just have a Jeff at iCloud.com, well, you're kind of locked to Apple there. But if you have a custom domain, it's just a matter of changing up those DNS records like we just did. And then you can move your email address to something like Fastmail or Google, or now as you can see, Apple. And that's the beauty of it, portability, because what if Gmail just shut down? Or what if iCloud just shut down? Probably not gonna ever happen, but what if it did? Well, your email would go along with it if you had like a Jeff at iCloud.com. But if I have Jeff at DuckyBenjamin.com, I can always move that Ducky Benjamin to any other platform and I'd be good. Now, I also mentioned that custom domains work with iMessage, as you can see here. It also works with FaceTime, as you can see here. So ladies and gentlemen, what do you think? Obviously it's still in beta, but I think this is a great, great new feature for iCloud Plus users. If you appreciated this video, leave me a thumbs up and special thanks to you for watching. This is Jeff with 9to5Mac.